I'd like us to talk about the cost of installation or the cost of getting on the service. Yeah, we have uh, three, three models, really. One model is for people that have the money to buy outrightly. However, I can tell you that we just have that model because we know that some people might want to buy, but that's not what will scale us as an organization. Because not even in the Western countries that people are spending $20,000 and above to buy energy, right? So that's the first model. People can buy outrightly. Then we have a lease to own model. We call it l 2 ho And what that means is instead of people to, uh, to pay us outrightly, they can lease the equipment and pay over a period, say one year or three years, right? Then the third model is the energy as a service model, which is the one on the utility side. The, you just, the customer just pay us on a monthly basis or like what we do in the village on the, on, the, on the daily basis. So with that, you realize that what you are paying is probably a fraction of what you currently spend on the dirty fuel. I mean, talking of petrol and diesel. So those are the three different models. You can either buy outrightly, do a lease to own, you lease and you own over a period of time, or you do a service model, which is more or less like you're paying your, your distribution company. So partnering with the Bank of Industry, six pilot programs in six geopolitical zones in Nigeria. What's next? In partnership with Bank of Industry, we are signing an MOU for us to replicate that pilot. The pilot was just in one community. The state is now replicating that across the 11 local governments that they have in that state. So that's on the state level. I mean, as an organization too, we are bringing in a lot of I mean, equity and debt investment into the organization to be able to scale that because the demand is, is, is huge. I know you run on credit analytics and the prepaid uh, metering technology. How does that work? We've looked at what has made us as a nation to be where we are in terms of energy poverty. And that's because people are actually uh, not, either not paying for electricity or it's not smart enough. So what we've been able to do with our smart metering is to be able to deploy a technology that is tamper-proof. Because if we're taking money from the bank of industry, it's a death. We need to pay back for us to be able to scale it across the country. So if people are stealing electricity, that means we are running a business that is not sustainable. So the smart metering part of, of that is to ensure that we are metering, I mean, the, the, the power that we are generating and the power that the consumer is consuming. And we make it, I mean, theft proof so that the investment that we are bringing in, be it debt from Bank of Industry or other BOI or other DFIs, we are sure that we can return the investment back. Why, as a nation, have we not fully embraced solar power? Enabling environments. That's number one. In other climes that have embraced it, you even get rebates if you deploy solar energy. If I come to your house and I deploy solar energy in America, you get a tax rebate on that. However, the reverse is the case. The opposite is the case in Nigeria. In Nigeria, you still pay import duty. You still pay VAT. So that has not really helped even the investors. So let's talk about the potential, the growth potential of solar energy utilization in Nigeria. Based on where we are right now, where do you see the growth going? Where do you see the level of utilization in the next five years? Um, it depends. Because uh, something needs to catalyze the growth rate. If we continue as a nation, as we are doing in the next 10 years, it might still be less than 1%, right? But if there is intervention, if there is enabling environment, just like I mentioned, 20 gigawatts. In China, the last year, that's 2015, first half of 2015, they did about six gigawatts. But the same period in 2017, they tripled that. So we, from 6.5 gigawatts, 
first half of 2015, they did 20 gigawatt first half of 2016 because of policies, changes, and an enabling environment. So if we decide as a nation, 24 months is more than enough for us to do 4,000 megawatts, which is 4 gigawatts as a nation. So we need to see policy and enabling environment for us to really be able to tell how the growth is going to be. All right, I can see three different sizes of the energy pay-as-you-go solar systems. Can you tell me more about them? Um, the three products, we have the High Energy 60. High Energy 60 is the 60 watt output, a pure direct current uh, system. It comes bonded with three LED bulbs, a USB port that customers can use to charge their mobile phone, each of those three LED bulbs, the ports, the customers in the village can use it for a small DC television or a small DC fan. And it comes with an MP3 player. So if they have music on their mobile phone, they could plug it into the system and it will play. And it comes with an FM radio. That's for the rural poor and they pay as low as 50 naira a day to have their homes or their shops light up. It comes with a 20 watt um, solar panel too that generates the electricity because this is in rural area. They don't have generator, they don't have the grid, right? So the second one is Energy 300. Energy 300 comes with uh, a 300 watt output. So it has an AC alternating current and a direct current. So a normal television that people use in the city will work on the Energy 300. We have I mean, some of our existing customers in the village, the barbers. Some of them have, um, some of the customers have a viewing center where people in the community gather at night to watch uh, their favorite football team or, or Nollywood. So the Energy 300 is, um, is the best system for that. For that, they pay us 1,200, one, sorry, 120 Naira daily, which amounts to about 3,600 Naira a month. And what we've seen, Based on the deployment, is it's mostly used by the commercial, the, the micro businesses in the village, right? Or people that have large, large families. The third one, so the Energy 60 and the Energy 300, it's for the rural. The rural people that are not connected to the grid. The larger one, which is the Energy 300, sorry, Energy 500 comes with a 250 watt um, I mean solar panel and uh, it has a 500 watt AC output. It's an AC and DC appliance too. The bulbs are direct current because that is more energy efficient. So uh, we've seen that uh, being deployed in I mean, peri-urban homes. I mean, for instance, in Lagos, we've seen the Mowe Maguru, people that have lived like five years without power. I mean, really adopting really adopting that. So for that, I mean, it's 6,000 Naira a month, which is more or less like 200 Naira a day. agricultural sector due to limited processing and preservation capacity. This results in high food prices and food importation with its attendant effects on the nation's foreign reserves. To enable Nigerians optimize the benefits from the country's vast agricultural products such as cassava, oil palm, rice, tomatoes and others, the Bank of Industry has launched a 5 billion naira cottage agro-processing fund, the CAP Fund. Customers can access the fund to establish plants to process our various agro-produce into food products or intermediate raw materials for industries at a single-digit interest rate of 9% per annum. For more information on the CAP Fund, please visit www.boinigeria.com slash CAP Fund. Bank of Industry, developing Nigeria's agro-processing industry through the CAP Fund. The pilot of the Rural Electrification Project was a huge success. Now, more of such projects are being executed. Just recently, the Bank of Industry signed a Memorandum of Understanding 
with the Gombe state government, one of the beneficiaries of the pilot project, to replicate the service in more communities within the state. Subsequently, on the show, we would feature the second solar energy provider who benefited from the rural electrification project. So watch out. For questions or queries on how you two can benefit from what the Bank of Industry is doing, you can tweet at me at K-A-Y Alliande or at the Bank of Industry at B-O-I Nigeria. Do remember, the Bank of Industry has so many avenues of intervention for entrepreneurs. Visit their website at boi.ng or any of their branches closest to you for the package that suits you. You can apply for a loan online. All you've got to do is download the BOI SME Loan app from the Google Play Store and get going. From here, it's a wrap. I'm Kaede Alayande. Bye now.